Kick it. It's candy. Welcome guys to the Candy Show. I am here. I am your host, Candy, and we're live from Indianapolis, Indiana backstage. And I'm not, you know what? I'm just gonna just get on into the interview. I have my gentleman here, right here on my right. You guys may have seen him before on the Candy Show, Candy Talk Show. One third of the group that I would always support, always had on our functions, our shows, and, and always, always, always support it. Yes. Remind yourself, support your locals. But one third of a door, now he's on his own, none other than Charlie Stardom. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 what's happening, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> Hold up, you know, guys, you know I gotta get my interview. I mean, and my hug, too. Yeah, Hold yeah, on, I gotta yeah, get my hug. Yeah, you know? It's been so long. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, it's been a while. Gosh, it's been, I don't know, what, about 10 plus years? Yeah, it's, last it's, time it's, I it's been a minute, it's been a minute, it's been a minute. So tell everyone who Charlie Storm is, um, and then what happened after a door broke up? Okay, well... I'm Charlie Stardom, um, from here in Indianapolis, Indiana, singer-songwriter. Um, my album, Love By Night, my debut album is out right now on Apple Music, Spotify, um, every streaming service that you use, whatever it is, it's there. You can check it out again. It's Charlie Stardom, Love By Night, so go check that out. Why well, he gave us a plug that <laughs> early? Man, you want to make sure he get that in. You heard, you got to listen to it. You got to like... Spam it, play it everywhere, put your friends on it, put your girlfriend on it, put your boyfriend, husband, everybody, your mom, grandparents, everybody. It's a it's an album for all ages. Like kids can hear it, like grown people, you know, older people, they don't like most of our young people music, but this is one of the ones that everybody will love. So get out there and put it on your phones, um, just get it how you can and support. You know? Okay. Definitely. So Charlie Stardom, what happened after Adore? Uh, Adore, we still, I, we never really broke up. We just really started doing our own things. Like me and Travis, we started just keep working on music and doing things and stuff like that with music, like producing and like writing and like vocal producing and stuff like that. And um, we just been doing it and like, um, it what, just- here in Indianapolis or? Here in Indianapolis okay. and also in like LA and like um, New York and stuff like that. We just been getting all over the map trying to just make the music worldwide. like. Eventually, we might get back together and make some more stuff. Me and Travis, we made a lot of other records and stuff like that, too, that we are uh, trying to still get out there to other artists. And if not, we might just put it out. But uh, you never know. You what never made you know. go to New I mean, what made you go to California? Uh, well, I went out there. Um, a producer I was working with at the time um, was like, yo, I was going back and forth to Atlanta and uh, making trips back and forth there. And it was moving, but it wasn't moving like I felt like it should be moving at that time I was a little more impatient but uh, I was like well let's just give LA a try I've never been there before so I always wanted to go so I went out there and um, being out there a week I had more connections made than I had ever had made being in Atlanta for three months so it was okay. like okay this is where I need to be and uh, I'm without like, what was it four months after going to visit for the first time I was like yeah this is where I'm moving like and I moved out there and been out there since and just grinding it out and making it happen. So okay, so yeah. Charlie Stardom, what are you doing while you're out in California? Uh, so you're singing, you're writing. Yes. Tell, tell us, tell us all. Yeah, I'm out there performing, doing my artistry, uh, the Charlie Stardom um, artistry, and then also I'm getting out there and doing the writing and um, vocal producing, doing that heavy with a lot of uh, up and coming artists. It's like most of them are like young kids, like 14, 13, 12. You know, Nickelodeon. Disney stars that's branching into the music, so I've been blessed to be in the studio to vocal produce them and like write for a few of them as well. Okay. So that's what I've been doing on that end, and I'm um, also working with different producers. Um, just sending out, I have this thing called the Charlie Pack. It's like a sample kit, and it's just like my vocals, and I give them to different producers, and um, they actually been getting placed with big artists and stuff. Like one was Justine Sky. Um, I got on her project with the vocal sample. I actually have one coming on the 14th of. This uh, September, okay. with the artist Black, Six Black. Well, it's with the Six and it's Black. Like I got a, a vocal sample was used for his project, so that's coming out. And um, you know, what about performing? performing? Did you do? Have you performed yes, out there? Yes, yes. I've been doing a lot of shows. I actually just had a show uh, two weeks ago. Actually, two Sundays ago, I performed at this place in Hollywood called the Bronson Bar, and um, they had this 
crazy night. It was so many different like R&B acts on the one bill, and it was a great show. And I was blessed to have the opportunity to be on that bill. So, named Nico G4. He signed to Don Kennedy. Um, he's a huge artist out there in LA, like in the LA scene out there. I worked with him. I've uh, worked with this artist named Ben Grant, uh, Ben Great from Cincinnati, Ohio. He's out there working and doing some crazy things, and I worked with him. They actually, he's worked with Lil Xan, and they work together heavy together. So when you're like saying that. that you're working with these artists, are you writing? Are you, what are you doing? Are you producing? It's a mixture Tell of us. both. It's a mixture of both. Uh, some of them I'm credited as a featured artist, and like they actually had kept my vocals on the song. What well, it was intended at the time to be just a demo for another artist to sing, and they was like, no, we like what you did. We're going to keep you on it. So a few of those have been, just those being, I guess, being at the right place at the right time situations and um, just moving and like meeting different artists and working with them, like the Justine Sky record, um, working on that, that just happened. I just, uh, like I told you, I sent the sample out to the producer and then he called me and was like, hey, uh, Justine Sky is going to use, your voice is going to be on the track. And I'm like, okay, that's crazy. So it's like, that happened. And then um, I worked and wrote some stuff with this artist named Yali. He's uh, from, um, he's, he's, he was out here in Indiana, but he uh, he's from Hammond, Indiana. Okay, Gary, yeah. he's on your your he's yeah. on your album. Yeah, yeah. he's on my You've stuff worked, too. I've noticed yeah. that you worked with him. He's got a couple of features on yes, one of yes, your songs. Yes, yes, we worked together um, even before we moved to LA. We was actually working together here when we was at Indiana University and doing stuff like that. When I was still with the door, me Travis, we was working with him nice. then. So. It's just like he's been around for a long time, so it's kind of like he's family type thing. We've been working so close together like that, and um, oh, it's I'm pretty so sure there's plenty of people. It's that a lot, you a lot with. of artists. It's a lot of artists. So, oh, Maurice Moore, he's another artist. He's from Ottawa, Canada. He's another big uh, up and coming artist, and uh, I work with Eric Bellinger. It's coming to me now. Now okay. I work with Eric Bellinger. I had the chance to work with. Um, this writer and producer named Tasha Couture. She's from Atlanta. She's blowing up. She has stuff everywhere. And I actually got a chance to work with Tanache. The song didn't ever come out for the album that she put out, but we worked together. You still we, work yeah, on Yeah, we worked okay. together before. And um, I work with another artist named Alec Jacob King. Um, he's got some stuff coming. It's great. And I'm sure yeah. you got a lot more that you want to <laughs> yeah. let us know about. But wait a minute, I heard about your Stevie Wonder experience. Oh. Tell, me, tell everybody about that. Yeah, I got a chance to meet Stevie Wonder. That was one of the things on my bucket list. Uh, I went because uh, I follow Usher on Twitter and Instagram, and he was getting his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And uh, on my way to work, I saw that he was doing it on like this Vine Street. And I was like, oh, that's on my way to work. I can stop by and check it out. And uh, I was there watching that. I seen Miguel, I seen Jimmy Jim and Terry Lewis, and then I seen Stevie Wonder walk up. And I was like, oh, shit, that's Stevie. And then the lady next to me was like, hey, yo, if you really want to meet him, you walk back that way. He's parked literally by my car. And we came through that way. And I was like, what? Say no more. So when I seen him leaving with him, his assistant, and like um, one of his other assistants, he had like two assistants. And I was like, yo, I'm going to shoot my shot. So I walked over there. And nobody was around. And I was like, hey, is it possible I could get like a picture with Stevie? Or like just talk to him? And then it's like, yeah, you go over to him and, you know, talk to him. So I like shook his hand and I was like, yo, I'm a huge fan, da da da. And I was like, can I get a picture? He was like, sure, man, come on. And he's a jokester. He's, he's a funny man. Like, he's I heard crazy. That he's really yeah, funny. I was trying to. I don't know, I just went blank. I was like, man, I'm listening to him. I'm listening to it right now. Like, look, look at it, trying to show him. He was like, yeah, I see, I see. I was like, you can't see that, man. No, you didn't see that. Oh, my gosh. He's a joke. So I was like, see, you fooling us. We know you can see no, behind them glasses. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but he, uh, he told me, he was like, yeah, you must, you got to be a singer. I could tell in your speaking voice that you're probably a good singer. And I was like, oh, snaps. Like, I didn't even sing for him. I was just so like shook up from hearing that. I was like, yo, to have an icon, a legend, yeah, he's, notice he's, right off hand, yeah. a talent that hasn't even been, yeah, like projected. Yeah, it's, it's in you. You can yeah. see it. it. It's in your aura. Definitely appreciate that, yo. So, I can't wait to meet him again in like the future. But hey, remember I met you? I, he probably's not gonna remember, but I'm but, like, I did meet you. But, no, but you know what, if he if yeah. he was able to point out that you are a performer, that you are singing, yes. he'll probably remember who you are. Yeah, I just got to bring up the Usher Walk of Fame, he'll remember. He's like, oh yeah, I was there. So, <laughs> nice. so, so tell everyone about your, your project right now, this uh, album of yours that's out. Yes, the project Love by Night is out. It's 12 songs. Um, it's got production from Business Boy, Theory, and Tao Fetty. Um, most of the songs were written by me. and. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, and it also has uh, Ben Byron and uh, MJ. He's on there as well, aka Two. That's his producer name, but he's on there as well. And uh, the album is just from top to bottom, like it's a great project from start to finish. Um, take my word for it, or you can just press play and you'll see. Um, it's great. So it's called Love by Night. It's out everywhere. Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal. Everywhere you can get streaming from YouTube. It's all out there. I have videos for my single for too long. It's out as well, the video. You can check that out. I'm dropping another video for the new single that I'm about to put out called Scared. That's coming out within probably the next two weeks. Both video and single will be out. And then I got an EP that I'm dropping mid-October called Nightcap. So that's on the way too. So, <laughs> your single. Yes. Too long? Yeah, for too long. For too long. Yes. Now, tell me something. I've noticed, I've listened to the whole entire album. Uh -huh. It seemed like it's a smoke session on that album. Did you make that up? Like, were you writing those lyrics? Were you, were you having a smoke session in that? So, or just so, thinking about it? Some of the sessions had a little bit of, um, you know, it was a little medicated, yes. I can some tell of, because your lyrics sessions. had yes. that in it, so I'm not, I'm not at all thinking this is, Yes, yes. But no, there's nothing that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, and no, I can no. definitely tell it yeah. has one of those types of... Yeah, it's a super vibe. Like, yeah. um, every song, like, it's a nice vibe you can play. I call it Love by Night because most songs, they just fit the night vibe. Like, you play and it just feels like, wow, it fits the mode. So, it's one of those albums you can play with, whether you're, like, cleaning the house, whether you're, like, on a date or you're, like, just going out, hanging out with your homegirls and homies, and it's just, it's a great album. Like, it's some sexy cuts on there too. Yes, yes. I it's had some to, sexy cuts. Had to cuts. keep it, you know, nice and sexy for the ladies out there. Yes, they I mean. enjoy cause that, cause so. I've listened to the whole entire album, and I can't even wait to the next project. Yes, so that's so, coming soon. So, um, it's gonna be, I'm shooting like a few more videos from the Love by Night album, and then I'm gearing up for the EP and shooting a few videos for those too, so. When I get back to LA, I got a lot of work to do. Are you looking for any models? Because, you know, yes, I can, yes. I can oh, see. Hey, hey. No. Always, yeah, I can always, that. always, always. We're always looking for that. So, um, yeah, just, I'm looking to take everything to the next level and, you know, help out a lot of other artists from the city too as well. And just give them a platform because it's like, you know, we get more eyes and ears on this city. And then we, we got a lot of talent here, a lot of it. Exactly, untapped yes. talent, yes. as I've always said. Yes. Then we also want to make sure that you come back. Yes. Come back Absolutely. and perform Absolutely. for us. Yes. Like, not just tonight, yeah. but flood this city. Yes. And make everybody know who Charlie Stardom is. Big time, big time. That's definitely on the list of plans to do. Uh, Y'all can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'm on Instagram, like, all the time versus Twitter. Um, but you can follow me. It's Charlie Stardom at Charlie Stardom, all together, Charlie Stardom. And uh, hit me in the DMs, like if you listen to the music, post it, tag me, I will post it and shout you out. Um, and that's how you can find me. And then sure. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up and say, once again, support your locals because you never know what direction they're gonna go in. Big they're fact. going to be the next Stevie. They're going to be the next Jay-Z. They're going to be the next Beyonce. They're yes. gonna be the next yes. J-Lo or anybody else for that matter. So yes. make sure you always support them. And Charlie, you know, as always, anytime Candy Productions has an event yes. or anytime that you are around, I'm always gonna support you. And the other members <laughs> of Adore. I've not forgot about them. But Appreciate I congratulate you on much success. Yes. Continue yes. doing what you do. Absolutely. Stay grounded. Sure. Guys, sure. thank you so much for tuning in to the Candy Show. Stay tuned for new hot interviews. And as always, Candy Productions 2.biz. Yeah.
Come on back. I said, come on back. Come on back. Kick it. It's Kick <laughs> It's so good, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's good.